Jenny. I'm an artist and an illustrator. I absolutely love drawing animals and plants and I find all of my inspiration in the natural world. So the beauty with colouring books is that you don't need very much. All you need is a set of coloured pencils, one of these books and time. And time is really the crucial element because when you're making time to do this, you're making time for yourself. And it's an amazing way to kind of really focus the mind and, and calm yourself. And you're essentially practicing mindfulness. Um, and mindfulness and being creative are both proven stress relievers, but when you combine them together, they become something even more powerful. Coloring is a great way in for people that believe they're not very creative and think they can only draw stick men. I believe that everybody is creative and colouring is such a good way to begin. De La Roni do a whole range of these colouring books. Everything from Kaleidoscope um, to Geometric. And actually this one's got lots of lovely patterns in that you can really get creative with. So all of these kind of works. Some lovely patterns there. And they also do um, a little more abstract, so this is Utopia, and that one has a sort of mixture of kind of nature and machinery in. Um, this one was my favourite, World Cultures, because it had a whole bunch of uh, fascinating animals and plants and things in there. And yeah, some like cultural symbols. Um, they also do all of these books uh, in a smaller size, so they can fit in your bag and you can take them and do some colouring on the train. Um, they're really a nifty little size. In each of these colouring books there's a really handy colouring wheel at the back. So these colour wheels are so useful for understanding uh, which colours look great next to each other. So complementary colours are the ones that are opposite each other on the colour wheel. So say yellow and purple are complementary colours and they're the ones that really fizz and pop and look fantastic next to each other. So it's really good to refer back to this to get the most out of your colouring. I used some of that technique actually in my colouring so I'll show you what I did. So here I, I chose a lovely um, quite intricate picture of a fish to colour in so two kind of Japanese fighting fish leaping out over the ocean um, and for the ocean area I used lots of tones that were quite similar so blues, greens, purples um, and then here on the fish um, oranges, reds and yellows and so um, the two uh, are complementary colours so they look really striking next to each other. And so I hope you enjoy your time colouring, um, I really would recommend it, it's such a calming activity and honestly anybody can do it. Um, it's, it's a really good way in if you're not feeling very with, confident with things that are creative, um, so best of luck to you and thanks for watching.